What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another Rad Movie Review and today we are here to talk about Alien Romulus and oh, this was my most anticipated for the rest of the year. This was my most anticipated film and did it meet my expectations? The short answer to say the least is Fede, thank you so much Fede, we love you. So Alien Romulus is the latest entry in the Alien franchise. Yes, this is one that we've been heavily speculating, talking about. Fede Alvarez has been teasing, dropping some really cool trailers, and really telling us that this is a return to form in terms of Alien and Aliens. This one actually takes place between both of those films. I believe this one takes place 20 years after the events of the first Alien film with Sigourney Weaver. So that's really cool, and a lot of the stuff you can tell right away. Let's lead into the positive. My key, key positives is that Fede kept this so grounded and so much like from a fan perspective, just brought it to home. The sound effects, the sound design is so key. And that is such a big thing when it comes to the Alien franchise. A lot of people don't realize that, that with those first two films, Alien and Aliens, some of the best parts about those movies are the sound design and sound mixing, and Fede brings it 100% in this movie. Another fantastic positive about this movie is our characters in here. I think they're all gripping and they're all unique, and there's something different about each of the characters. And specifically, my favorite actor in this film, I think, is he plays Andy, David Joss Johnson, I think he plays Andy, and man, he floored it as our synthetic unit. He is the synthetic character in here and fantastic, fantastic performance because we've had so many awesome, like I said, characters like Ash, Bishop, you know, David. There's been so many awesome synthetic characters in the universe of Alien and Andy is easily one of my favorites. And the on-screen chemistry with the character Rain, the other protagonist character who's, I would say Andy and Rain are our two lead characters. They're the ones, the driving force of this film and they have fantastic chemistry on screen screen. Another thing I gotta say positive about this movie is it's just it grabbed me from the beginning to the end like for real there's an intro to this the first like just five minutes it is gripping it just already just the way it's set up and it's not like action-packed all the way through this is one of those films that has a slow building type pace so it does kind of take a bit to take off so I would say like the first 25 minutes is all getting to know the characters immersing us in the world and the universe again and it's this slow build to the eventual third act and we as fans of the Alien franchise know that it's going to go off the wall and this film really takes some swings and takes some risks and I am so proud that Fede did this because like I said he did basically a great uh, like combination of Alien, Aliens, and even throwing in a little bit of Prometheus as well. There's also some awesome uh, fan fi or fan nods to Alien Isolation, the game. If there's awesome, if there's fans out there of the game, Alien Isolation, there's some cool little Easter eggs spl sprinkled in the film as well. So yeah, you can tell by the Easter eggs, the way the film's designed, the look of the movie, like for real, the cinematography, this is one of the most gorgeous looking alien films of all time and Fede Alvarez kept it all practical as well there's a lot of practical effects in here there's I believe there's a couple CGI moments actually but most of it like 85% of this movie is all practical effects and you can feel that when you're watching it another positive for me is the fantastic like I said third act like this is one of those films that it just like for real it takes you there and this movie has some of the best moments and scenes that have ever been committed to film in terms of the alien franchise right up there with the scenes in alien and aliens and for me I've seen some reviews and some reviews online for some people saying that a mixed and negative thing for them was a lot of the fan service in this movie which for me my theater like was full like pretty much full there was only like three or four seats empty in my entire theater and everybody was clapping at certain moments and i'm talking about like those fan servicey moments that you might see when you go see this movie and people were clapping cheering like for real this movie brought it in so many ways and like i said has some of the most gripping moments and scenes that we've ever seen that are actually quite scary and quite entertaining and thrilling 
all in one jumble. In terms of what I think before you see this movie, if you are going to go see this movie in theaters, do you have to binge the entire Alien franchise? No, I don't think you have to watch every single Alien film to enjoy this movie, but you definitely have to see the very first one with Sigourney Weaver, of course, and seeing Prometheus and Alien Covenant, that would actually go a long way into helping you understand and, you know, feel this movie out too. So I think those film, those three at least... I mean, I don't know why you would not want to watch Aliens. Aliens is one of the greatest sci-fi films of all time, but I'd say for sure, Alien, Prometheus, and Alien Covenant are the three required watches that you must watch before seeing this film. Another thing I got to talk about is the gore moments, the gruesome, like there's some really haunting like kills in this film that are just, it's not gore like in your face, like gruesome, like Evil Dead 2013. I know a lot of people are used to that because Fede Alvarez, that's what he does. He brings that Evil 2013, Evil Dead 2013 flair and a lot of gore sometimes. But this film doesn't have tons and tons of gore. But the kill scenes and the gruesome moments and, like I said, the scares go a very long way. So, yeah, this film really brought it. I'm so happy what Fede Alvarez did because, like I said, you can tell from the direction and everything that's in this film. He is a true fan of this franchise. And he really, like I said, brought it because this is one of those films that I can't wait to rewatch. This is one that I probably will end up going to the theaters to go see a second time. And Dune Part 2, yes, did get knocked off the throne. That was my favorite film of the year so far throughout the year as it progressed was Dune Part 2. And now, yeah, Alien Romulus is clearly the top one right now. Now, in terms of mixed and negatives, this is one of those films that I had to search. I had to think hard, and I spent a couple days because I actually saw this a couple days ago. I saw it for my birthday, but then I, I worked that night of and the night before, so I just kind of just did the cake thing and pie and hanging out at the house and went to go see the movie with the family. But then I didn't like film my review, so I've been kind of marinating on this movie over the last couple days, and I am... I really want to tell you all, I am totally comfortable with giving Alien Romulus a score of a 10 out of 10. Like, that's just to get it out of the way. Mixed and negatives, there's really none. Like, I was thinking for a couple days now, is there anything wrong with this film? Is there anything that bothers me? Nothing. Like, nothing that I could think of. And like I said, out of all the films that I've seen this year, I haven't seen a ton in the theaters, but out of all the theater experiences I've had this year... This is the one movie that I was like, no, I need to instantly, like, I want to go see this again. Like, if I was able to and I didn't have to work that night of, I would have been like, let's just go for round two right now. Like, let's buy tickets for, you know, the, the 10 o'clock showing and let's do it right now because that's how fantastic I think this movie is. But I don't want to get everybody's expectations hyped up too much. Like I said, this is how much fun I had. And a lot of it also had to do with the fact that it was that scary, that gripping. And I had my kids with me, my whole family with me. We basically took up almost an entire row and to see my kids and to be in the theater watching an alien film with my family and to see their reactions. And I'm imagining in my head that's how people reacted when they first saw Sigourney Weaver tackle a xenomorph in on the aliens, like on the big screen in the first alien film. And they were having the same reactions, like sitting on the edge of their seat gripping the chair kind of heavy breathing and panting and stuff and like wanting to look away but looking at the same time like all those things happen like just seeing all the faces on my kids and like said the theater my theater clapping everybody was clapping there was tons of people cheering so yeah i think alien romulus is a huge achievement in cinema and a fantastic one because like another slam dunk in the alien franchise and in terms of a ranking I would probably say this is easily third for me. I, as it stands right now in my head, thinking of it and thinking of my Alien ranking because I recently did an Alien Live ranking franchise thing on the Voices from the Mausoleum podcast. Please go over and check out that live stream. That for sure, I would put Alien Romulus right now in the third spot, only behind Aliens and Alien. These are just my thoughts and my opinions on Alien Romulus. That means I would love to hear from all of you down below in the comments section if you've seen this film or if you're eager to see it or what are your feelings on it. Are you anticipating it? Like I said, hit me up down below in the comments section. Like I said, this is just a spoiler-free one. Did not want to spoil anything because I want a lot of people to go out and see this movie. This is one that I highly recommend experiencing in theaters. But also, thanks for sticking around with me all and like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I drop a video. But most importantly, you all know what's up. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.